This is Leanne and I'm here to show you how to make the feather that is in your string art kit that you got. Uh, this particular design I'm going to use actually the two colors in order to fill in my feather. Um, just add some fun detail to it and something different that way. And the other thing that we're going to do if you've done any of the other string arts yet, we're not going to do an outline on this design. So we are following slightly a bit of a pattern. You can choose to do the same if you wish or feel free to experiment with any string and how you would like the pattern to look yourself. Now. As per usual, for those who have done a string art before, we're going to start with our air knot. Those who haven't, this is what we're doing. So it's an air knot to begin. This allows you to take the loop and position it on your first nail. So we're going to start with the nail at the bottom of the feather on the stem of it, and we're going to double knot that. And essentially what we're gonna do is hopefully get back to this with our green thread. We're gonna work up maybe halfway on our feather. We're gonna have the angle somewhere like this as we go in a V coming up from here. And then we'll continue on with our second color, which in this case I'm going to be using the purple to do the top half. And so to begin, I am starting with the stem and I'm going to do a zigzag with U's. Now the U, if you haven't done this before, is a way to wrap around the nail head. Uh, you can either do it as a U or if you were to come across the other way you'll see an X. Uh, just as a reference point, we're going to be using the U quite a bit in our designs. And so I'm just going to come up to the top of my stem. I'm going to walk my way back down, essentially making X's at this point. I'm going to skip a nail just to get my way back up in order to get a different angle and that thus fills in my stem. Um, it was very quick. You could play around with how you would like it to look, but if you go one run up, second run down, one run back, no matter how you string it, you're going to fill in that green space um, that you have there. Now, stemming from the middle of my feather, I'm actually going to essentially skip this very first one in the middle and I'm going to walk to the next one in the middle. And the reason for that is because it's going to give me the angle that I want for my feather. And I'm going to start working my way up using every nail on the outside to connect with a nail on the inside of my feather pattern. I'm going up the one side first. I'm trying to consistently keep roughly the same angle so that the feather looks more genuine in that regard. And I'm trying to hit every single nail on the outside. Now decide where you may want to stop with your color green. And what we're gonna do now is start to look for those X's. And we're gonna walk down this same side completing the X. And the reason for that, instead of the U, is so we can fill in a different line pattern of our shape and we're thus essentially filling in more green than what was previously done with the U. So we did the U on the way up, we're doing the X on the way back to fill our feather in. And now I'm looping back and I'm going to work my way up doing the very same thing on the other side. And last but not least, you're going to walk your way back down the stem to finish up the green here. And we're going to get to the same nail head, do a loop around, and cut our thread. and tie off, double knot. So now we've done the bottom half of our feather. With my second color, I'm gonna get set up to do the top half. Here, and again, we're going to do an air knot over top of the middle one to tighten, double knot. Down a little for you guys to see and I'm gonna start with the right hand side again just continuing with the U's
And once I get back to the middle, as I have here, I'll be able to just tie it off. We're gonna trim down the line and do a double knot. Oh, sorry, I didn't do a loop-de-loop -loop around. Come back here. Do a loop-de-loop -loop around to hold it in place. And push it down a little just to get myself some extra room on that nail head. And then I can double knot it. So you can play around with whether you want half and half for your color, two thirds and one third, what ratio of each color that you want, or string it all just one color. But in the end, there is your final feather.